Hi guys, it's Luton here, and today we're talking Battlefield 4 once again. We're going to be talking about specializations, we're going to talk about armor, stealth, and a little bit about the fall damage. But before we get into that, I just want to say thanks to Level Cap again for allowing this footage usage. This is from E3 content, alright? So it's uh, still from the alpha stage very early on. But uh, if you haven't checked out Level Cap before, in the notes below, go check him out. It's one of the best Battlefield producers all around. Now, why are we talking again about the specializations so soon after we've already had that massive blog post? The reason is, is that that DICE have actually already responded and given some more information and I'm going to read that out to you right here because it's quite short. Now it said first of all that they're very happy to see the amount of engagement from their blog post and this it says you may have already seen this much chat around the internet and we've seen fans wanting to hear more about how specifically some of the field upgrades work. So they've asked Alan Kurtz our core gameplay designer to explain the armor, reduced force stealth and quick unspot field upgrades in more detail. These are the answers. So. Armor, what they say is, unlike previous versions of body armor in Bad Company, the field upgrade in Battlefield 4 is more similar to the more limited setups in Battlefield 2 and Battlefield 2142. It does not increase your overall health, instead it makes the small upper chest hitbox more resilient to damage, equal to the rest of the body. In practice, this means that snipers can't one hit kill your upper chest at point blank range. It also provides some small protection from shotgun burst damage through your head, oh sorry, though your head, legs, arms and stomach will remain unprotected. So essentially what they're saying is that that small area, the chest plate, that's where it will take the damage everywhere else is exactly the same as before. So it's not just like a, an all around modifier. It then goes on to say, at medium and longer ranges, and this is very important, the armor has no effect on how many bullets it takes to kill a player. Essentially, body armor is for countering close quarter battle sniper rifles and not much else. So these people that were worried that they were not, it was going to modify all their bullet damage and that it was going to cause lots and lots of problems, it doesn't. In essence, it's kind of like a backstop. It's, it's a close quarter protection. It's like your last stand of effect. And even then, if somebody else has got the drop on you, it really isn't going to be a big deal. So, you know, all these people that were freaking out and everything like this, I think understandably so. You know, I think it was a, a grave worry. And whilst I and a few other people were saying, look, you know, realistically, it's probably not going to be a big deal. Um, I can understand definitely why people are worried about it. I think anything that starts to modify your health or, or sort of, you know, it requires more rounds to put a person down, then that's definitely going to be the case. However, as they say, it does not modify your health. It doesn't. What it does is it just adjusts the damage taken to that small hit area and even then only in close quarter situations. So I think a lot of people will probably be very happy with that. And considering it slows you down as well in your general movement, I think actually it's going to be the kind of thing, there's probably some much better specializations people can take and it's probably not going to be that positive one however remember if you're in a defensive situation maybe you're defending an mcom it could actually be very useful you know you, you you end up in those situations it'll give you a bit of a benefit whereas the attackers they're coming in they're going to be having different things it might just swing the, the things away a little bit you know towards the defenders in those situations Okay, reduced fall. Now this is pretty straightforward. Small falls will not cause damage. However, the lethal fall distance remains the same. So for example, without reduced fall, jumping from the second story of a building would cause 25 damage. Jumping from the third might cause 50, but with reduced fall, the damage from the second floor is eliminated, but jumping from the third story will still cause 50 damage. So some people might not be able to get their head around that quite so clearly. Basically what it's saying is if you jump off of a small height which wouldn't cause you know the significant sort of max damage then it's still you know it's, it's going to modify that but once you get up to the sort of higher okay the, the 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 lethal fall distance that still is it won't affect it in essence. So basically it's not like if you jump off a big building it sort of negates like 25% of it or something like that. It, it, it's like if you jump off of a certain height you have to you have to jump off of a lower height in order for it to actually affect it otherwise it doesn't affect it at all. So I think that's actually a good way of balancing that out as well. Okay the last thing stealth and quick unspot. Now it says these are both minor adjustments to the spotting system. Players are spotted for about 7 seconds by default, which is quite a long time. The quick unspot reduces this to 5 seconds, it, so it's a very small modification. It's important to note it doesn't otherwise change any spotting behaviour. For example, if you track a spotted player, he will stay spotted even with quick unspot equipped. So if you're constantly on a guy, alright? Stealth simply adjusts the speed threshold for detection in motion sensors. All right? So a basic player can avoid being spotted by a motion sensor if they crouch or prone while moving. 
Stealth allows you to move at normal speed, however all players will be spotted by motion sensors at sprint speed. Stealth is only available to the recon kit as well, so that's pretty important, and must be earned the, uh, through squad play. Both of these are good tools to play in a stealth -like manner, but they hardly make a player invisible. So again, this is kind of what I said in the other video when I was talking about this, is that people are imagining that having quick unspot and the stealth modes is going to make them invisible and they'll be able to kind of move around the map sort of undetected blah 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 what they're saying in here is that it gives you these tiny little tweaks in essence but realistically you could do the same things already and that's why i said in the video is that i didn't really consider the shadow uh tree to be worthwhile because it doesn't really give you and this was kind of what i felt was i didn't really feel like it was going to give you a significant enough advantage that it would actually be worthwhile having whereas the other one okay the shock it actually did give more of a benefit it actually i can imagine some general battlefield uses more situations where that's useful whereas the stealth one you can do that already just by being stealthy just by being careful the way you move around objects you know the way that you approach an enemy i mean i've played battlefield for an extremely long time across many of the titles and you know, all of the kind of situations I can imagine you would need to be stealthy in are all completely achievable without having some special tree which is designated towards it. All you need to do is be able to outthink your enemy, move stealthily, know the map, know the positions to put, put yourself in, be careful about when you engage targets, that's critical, okay? I so very often see people in game and as soon as they see any target they open fire huge error okay huge error when i am moving around to try and get in behind or to set up a position so that my guys can spawn off of me you know i might actually see a guy and i let him go because i don't want to reveal my position at that point it's more important that i conceal the position so i think just having good player tactics is much much more important than you know just having a little perk it's definitely not going to be sort of the be all and end all of it and i think that's what i really was hoping people would kind of you know try and keep in mind so there we go that's the little breakdown today guys of those uh, specializations i think it's great that uh, dice have come back so quickly and given this information so quickly back to the community and just to clarify things this shows a real um a really professional and intelligent way of dealing with the community uh, especially when you compare it to other <laughs> i'm not going to go into it but there's there's so many other companies developers and larger companies which just handle these things so badly but dice have you know they've been watching what's happening they got their they got their finger on the pulse you know okay they've been watching the community they've seen all of the feedback going oh my god juggernaut blah 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 armor we don't want this crap they've seen people freaking out and so they have immediately come in and addressed it and said look we hear what you're saying and we completely understand what you're saying but look don't worry this is how it's going to be it's not as bad as you think absolutely perfect way of dealing with the situation i'm really impressed that they came forward with a, a quite sort of frank straightforward explanation about what that's actually going to do and i think to be honest it should belay a lot of people's fears and, and make people feel a lot better about it and also like uh, dasgro and uh, matimio we all said on the round table the other day the best way to sort of see how these things are is just wait until the beta comes it's very very soon around the corner but i think this was the right thing to do you know they could have just left it and gone ah you know it's the community they always freak out about everything no 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 they saw how you know frustrated upset people were about this perhaps they stepped in and said look 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 you know don't worry about it it's cool all right this is how it's going to be it's not as bad as you think so really impressed by that i also like the fact that they then went on to explain in more detail some of the other bits and pieces to maybe you know try and help people's choices so that you know it's not too late to still vote on the thing maybe it's time people you know might start changing their mind now they see what the stealth situation is and it's maybe not as good as they thought so drop your comments below guys what do you think about this is this helped your decision has it you know particularly with the armor do you feel a bit better about it knowing now how it actually is going to function and, and like many of us said it's actually probably not going to be as bad as you thought uh with the stealth thing do you still feel happy with the stealth do you think those benefits are good enough i mean it's it's a very minimal change um like i said if you're running the stealth tree to be honest you could do completely as well without even running it um, and I think that's something people really need to consider when they're voting for this thing because when you vote for these things That's what's coming in the game. Okay last chance. It's not too late to go and change your vote if it was me I wouldn't be running with that stealth stuff. I just don't think it's necessary This the tiny benefit that it gives you 
I just don't think is outweighed by the benefit of what you can gain from the shock one there. So that's my 2P. Let me know what you think, guys, and uh, have some more Battlefield 4 stuff coming up very soon. Have some good uh, Armor Daytime gameplay coming up soon as well, so have some more things coming on this week. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.